Hi, I'm Chef John from Kroger, and today we're in the kitchen with Soraya Corey from Hen Mother Cookhouse. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. What are we going to make today? Um, actually, we're going to make one of the most popular dishes I can't take off the menu. It's the avocado toast. Oh, I love it. We actually keep the avocado toast on all year, but we change the main ingredient, which you would think would be... Avocado. It's not. Really? No. So right now we're doing peaches. The best part about this dish is that you can make this dish way ahead of time, except for the actual toast part. The three things that I'd make ahead of time would be the peach compote, the balsamic dressing, and the aioli. So aioli, obviously, you know, is a fancy mayo. So we just take some garlic, a little bit of Dijon mustard, egg yolks, and then whisk that together with a neutral oil, finish it with a little lemon juice, and it adds the perfect touch to the avocado toast. Makes it a little bit more different. The other thing you want to make is the balsamic dressing. I like to use balsamic reduction when I make a balsamic dressing. It helps coat the arugula. It kind of gives it a sweetness and a, and a richness that you don't get from just balsamic dressing. So we use a little bit of balsamic reduction, garlic, Dijon mustard, and then we same neutral oil, like an avocado oil, finish it off with the balsamic vinegar. And then the last thing we like to make is the peach compote. What we do for the peach compote is really simple. It doesn't take a lot of steps. Just cut your peaches up the way you'd want them to be presented on your toast. A little bit thicker, the better, so that they don't disintegrate when you're cooking them. And then get them in a hot pan with some sugar, some salt, a little bit of olive oil, fresh thyme, and then finish it off with lemon juice. Oh, that sounds savory and sweet all in the same. Delicious. Exactly. I always tell people salty sweet is right. the best. Let that cook until they're just about tender, and then once they're tender enough, you take them off, put them in a jar, and let them hang out in your fridge again for a couple days. Last thing you can make ahead of time, which makes it a, a big time saver, and also something you can use on many salads, is our hazelnut crunch. Basically, you just take a piece of toast, toast it in your oven until it gets nice and crispy, take some hazelnuts, toast them until they get nice and toasty, and then chop it all up together and finish with salt, pepper, and olive oil. So you're making like a breadcrumb topping. Exactly. What if their hazelnuts aren't available? Oh, you could use any nut, or okay. you can make it nut free. So once you make all your little ingredients and put them aside, and it's Saturday morning and you want to entertain your friends, this is the time to put on your little show. So uh, we take our nice sourdough, we take a sheet tray, butter it really nicely, lay your sourdough down, and then you take that aioli, spread that on the bread, a little bit of shaved Parmesan, and then throw that in the oven and get it toasty. What temperature in the oven? 400, um, I would say like about two minutes. Two minutes, so keep your eye, you can't walk away from it. Cannot walk away from it. Got it. And then once it comes out of the oven, it's time to put the fresh mozzarella on there. Now you could use any type of mozzarella. It could be sliced, it could be diced, it could be the little balls, whatever you find at the store. You put that on top of your toast and put it back into that 400 degree oven. This time, roughly five minutes. Trying to brown up the mozzarella? Exactly. Perfect. Trying to get the mozzarella a little brown, trying to get the bread a little bit more toasted okay. so that it can hold all of your mm -hmm. ingredients. Got it. Once it comes out of the oven, it's time for the precious avocado. Okay, so when you're looking for an avocado, what are you looking for? I always say the best avocado is one that, once you pick it up, it's still firm to the touch, but you can kind of press down with your thumb and feel a little bit of a give. There you go. So you're gonna slice your avocado, you're gonna lay it on top of your bread. I like to season the avocado with a little salt, pepper, and olive oil. And then you take out your peach compote from your fridge. Oh yeah. Put your peaches on top, you take your dressed arugula that has that balsamic dressing on top, put that right on top, and then we finish with that delicious hazelnut crunch or whatever nut crunch you want to use. This looks absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Soraya, for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on this Atlanta culinary journey. Be sure to visit AJC.com all year for more stories, videos, and recipes, all sponsored by Kroger. What's so great about being a Kroger Boost member? Free delivery on the Kroger products you love and more rewards too, like double fuel points on everything you buy. Experience a new level of membership starting as low as $59 a year with Boost by Kroger Plus. Learn more at Kroger.com today.